All right, welcome to a quick video today. Um, I've had people ask me what I use and how I uh, clear coat my uh, model cars uh, to where I don't have to polish them or at least uh, very minimal polishing, how to avoid the um, orange peel, what, what do I use? So I thought I'd make a quick video. Um, I try very hard not to polish my car bodies, um, if at all possible. Uh, it's a pain in the dick. It uh, It's easy to burn through the edges. Uh, it's really hard to get the sand scratches out, um, at least to my eye uh, and to my satisfaction. So I have done quite a good job over the years of getting to that point where I have very minimal orange peel, if any. Um, I still, from time to time, do have to polish them out. But here's what I use to kind of avoid that issue. Um, please understand that um, I was a, a, a automobile painter for many years. So I have a, access to some equipment that um, the average uh, hobbyist cannot afford or use. Um, however, I generally speaking don't use that equipment, but I do have it um, at my disposal. Um, I have things like uh, SATA, SATA guns, uh, SATA mini jets, Iwata guns, uh, DeVilbus. Um, I've got all the stuff that um, your average garage hobbyist does not have. But you don't, you don't need those things. Uh, let me make that perfectly clear. And I usually do not use them, but I have. So, um, let's get into it. So, the first thing on the list is the gloss varnish acrylics. Um, so here's my take on these and I have used them, um, although not very often I have used them. They don't polish very well. Um, they're not durable. So my take on these, <laughs> fuck them. I throw it away. I, I don't even mess with it. If I do, it's on interior pieces or something I'm trying to throw, throw away real quick, or I don't want to take the time to clean my airbrush with um, lacquer thinner, things like that. So I pretty much don't even fucking use them. I, I just don't. It, it's just shit product to me. I don't see the point in it um, when you have access to cheaper and better options. So let's, uh, let's dive in and take a look at what I actually do use. So first on the list here, testers. Um, acrylic lacquer, the wet gloss look, uh, it does a really good job. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. Um, I can get, I can use this on a model car and get a nice, smooth, wet gloss look that I do not have to polish. It dries reasonably fast. Perfect for somebody that may not own an airbrush. And I do use this on occasion. My issue is this. Um, I know a lot of people say that you can get two to three model cars out of this. I can't. I put a minimum of two coats, if not three, on a um, model car to get a nice, smooth, um, glossy look to it. So I found that one can per model is about the average. Um, I might have a little bit extra and just need one extra extra can to, to do the next paint job. But it, it, realistically speaking, one can per paint job. And at $6, that's a little pricey. So, although I do use it um, on quick paint jobs, touch-ups, uh, something I forgot, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, I do use this, and it does work. Next on my list is Duplicolor. Uh, Duplicolor, and I don't have a can here, I apologize, but I ran out. I'm, I'm completely out of it. But Duplicolor makes a nice gloss clear that's about $8 a, a can. Um, and you can get four, maybe even five paint jobs out of that. That is my next um, option. For some of you uh, amateurs or younger folks out there that don't have an airbrush or... Uh, you, you're wanting to budget a little bit more carefully, definitely, definitely go for the dupe of color. Don't give any, don't let anyone give you any shit about it. It's a great product for what we do here. Um, especially if you're not, uh, showing, um, 
model cars the way uh, a lot of people do. It's all about having fun, stretching your budget, and I'm sorry, but six bucks for a model on just the clear alone is a little ridiculous. Um, unless you're getting paid for it, in which case you're not looking at these options anyways. So don't, don't let anybody give any shit over that. That's a great product. You can get great results. I use it all, uh, quite a bit and, uh, I do not, um, polish mine because quite frankly, I'm too, too freaking lazy to do that. So let's get down to brass tacks of what I actually use for the majority of my work. So, like I said, I'm an auto or uh, used to be an automotive painter by, um, and um, I have access to some very quality materials. Um, I have a gallon or so left of uh, RM BASF clear coat, 2K clear coat that I do use from time to time, uh, especially when I'm doing show quality work or a piece that I'm really excited about. But Please understand, you do not need that. The clear, the gallon of clear alone, the last time I checked, was well over $200 just for the gallon. Now, I am lucky enough that I've got the hookup on that, uh, and I get it for a, for a, at cost, I should say. Um, but like I say, at $250, $300, gallons, $300 a gallon, whatever it is now, you don't need to mess with that. You don't need it. You can get perfectly good results with what I'm about to show you for a considerable amount less. Um, so let's get into it. So some of the best automotive paints and clears come out of Germany. Uh, BASF, Sickens, uh, PPG, uh, the, the list goes on and on and on. Um, this actually comes out of Poland. Um, and it is what I consider my workhorse. This is what I use the majority of time, uh, majority of models without, uh, m with minimal orange peel. And like I say, I don't polish unless I absolutely have to, uh, because I'm lazy and it's a pain in the ass. So this is made by automotive art. Um, the beautiful thing about this kit or this, uh, product is the HS40 clear coat. You can buy it in pint size, uh, in, in a pint, which for the average enthusiast and hobbyist, this pint should last you, if I just had to take a guess, pretty close to 10 years. I mean, if you're doing two, three models a week, five years, okay? Um, so how much is it? So this is a 2K clear. This, uh, this core, or excuse me, pint. Let me just take a look at what I paid today. Um, this pint sells for $22 for the uh, clear coat itself. The activator or hardener uh, is another 20. So, for $42 or so at my local be, uh, local brick and mortar, which um, I've known the guy for years, um, and I get a hell of a discount. Um, I, I did not pay 40 something dollars for this. Uh, he sold the two of them to, together to me for like $30 uh, because I've been doing business with him for 20 years, uh, both on the automotive side and the model car side. But anyways, I will uh, try to find it online and leave a link uh, in the description down below for you. Mixes two to one, uh, which will work perfectly for a um, HVLP spray gun. Now, you don't have one, more than likely, uh, but if you do, that's the ratio. So what you will need to do, to do this uh, same application through an airbrush is some reducer. So I picked this up from him. This is a urethane reducer. Um, I get a high quality one. You can take a um, you can take a gamble and get a cheaper one, and you will probably get great results. I'm not going to swear to that. I just go ahead and buy the the more expensive shit um, because I can. I've got the spare money, and it's not that much. So this right here was twenty seven dollars by itself, and you're saying, well, wait, wait a minute. If this is you know, 22, this is 20, 
and that's 27 you're talking 76 78 dollars uh, for the entire kit and you'd be right except for one thing this reducer because you only need for the average airbrush or so like on mine my pache or my uh, iwata hpch or my badgers uh two to one and then five percent maybe ten percent reducer Sorry, could you say that again? Oh, shut up, watch. Which means that this can alone should last me the rest of my life with these. I mean, and I go through four, five, six, seven, eight paint jobs a week using this. This will last me the rest of my life with it. Uh, the only reason I needed some today is because I'm doing some motorcycle parts for a, um, a side project. And I need a little bit of extra reducer for some other stuff. But again, you buy this, this for $43, this for $27. This will last you 10 sets of these, guaranteed. Um, which brings your, I did the math on it actually. Me and my buddy at the paint shop did the math on it. So if you go buy the 2K Clear um, airbrush specific um uh, uh, vials online. They're like $15. And that's for, I, I can't remember if it's a one ounce or a two ounce, whatever it is. That's enough to last you four paint jobs, something like that. This breaks down to about a dollar or less per ounce, per ounce. And you're not going to need an ounce on a paint job. You're going to need a half an ounce. So for 50 cents, roughly, if that, uh, you're going to do an entire model car. So if you have an airbrush, um, I definitely recommend this. Now you are going to need lacquer thinner to clean out the uh, airbrush, but you really, let's be honest, if you're doing uh, this kind of work and this many models and you're even thinking about this kind of paint and you're not using the, uh, where to go, the rattle can, then you should have lacquer thinner already. And again, they're, they're about, uh, they're that same thing. You can go to, I don't know if Harbor Freight still has it, but there's a place here locally called Steve's Wholesale Tools that sells a, a generic off-brand um, lacquer thinner. It's $27 for a gallon. And I've got, I don't know, shit, five, six gallons in my garage. Um, so this is your option. Th this, this right here is where it's at. So like I say, I'll leave a link uh, down below um, if I can find it online. The problem with uh, buying online is this is hazardous, ha hazardous material. So shipping on it is ludicrous. Um, having said that, if you're having trouble finding something like this, uh, give me a call and I will see if I can ship you some uh, at my cost plus shipping um, and uh, get it done that way. Um, but the, the problem with most 2K clears that you find online is you can buy a, if you're lucky, you can find, you, you can find it in a quart size. Um, but usually speaking, it's a gallon or more. Um, I do have some ho house of color, um, by the court comes with all three sets or all three items that you would need. And it's $160, uh, for a quart of it. Um, but again, you don't need that. You're just talking models. We're not, we're not making anything crazy here. We're just having fun, and this is a hobby, and treat it as such. Don't listen to people that say, "Oh, you need this, you need that." First of all, this does just fine. Don't even, don't even sweat it. And if your only option is the pledge or floor. Um, varnish or uh, these little uh, Vallejo uh, varnishes. Don't even sweat it. Do what you got to do. But it's been my, my experience that the 2K clears go over everything with one coat. They don't have any problems. Um, a lot of people say, oh, that's meant for automotive. Well, guess what? I mean, the majority of cars now are made with plastic. Okay. This will go over plastic just fucking fine. Don't don't buy into that bullshit. Um, that's spoken by people that don't know what the hell they're talking about. Um, I, I use uh, products very similar, similar to this. 20 years ago when I started painting cars, um, I haven't painted cars now professionally anyway, in probably 10 years ago, or 10 years. But 
the products are the same. Don't, don't, don't buy into that BS. Um, I only use this for the out exterior of vehicles. Um, anything interior, I'm just, I'm just using, uh, this or actually more accurately the duplicolor. I don't, I, I will say this. I don't use the Krylon clear coats. Um, it's been my experience. They don't work very well. Um, they're, they're just kind of crap. Um, so I will actually use duplicolor, um, for matte finishes. Um, I, which I don't use very often except on Chrome parts. I will use the testers brand or the, uh, Mr. Hobby or whatever the hell it is. Um, it works pretty good, but that is in a nutshell, or what I use for clear coats for the exteriors of my cars. Um, and I get a nice glossy finish. I rarely polish them because I'm lazy. It's a pain in the dick. Um, so that is what I use. So again, if you like the video, found it, uh, helpful, you know, uh, click the like button, uh, and subscribe to blow. Uh, it helps me know that I'm on the right track here and doing the right things to help you guys out. But um, I wish you the best. Have have fun with this. Um, I see some people online and things that take this way too seriously. This is not brain surgery. This is You're not getting paid for this. Uh, if you are, let me know how you do that because I'd like to get in on that. This is just for fun. We're just having fun here. Uh, so again, don't get too wrapped up and don't think, oh, if I'm not using this or that or whatever. Um, like I say, I'm doing a paint job, the clear coat for 50 cents or less. Um, a lot of my acrylic paint, I, oh, by the way, I should say I use this on top of all paints, acrylic, whatever. Um, I use a lot of Createx. Uh, oh, come here, you little bastard. I use a lot of, uh, Createx, uh, colors. I think they make some great colors, especially when you mix them and and uh, use the transparents, the candies, and stuff on top of others. Um, I have a whole kit of uh, nothing but uh, pearls and metallics to mix in uh, standard paint. I even use, let's see if I can find, oh, I even use acrylics that are not meant for um, this type of use uh, and get gr great results. Uh, matter of fact, I'm working on a video uh, or come up with a video pretty soon of how you can paint model cars and get bottles like this for dirt, dirt, dirt cheap, um, which I'm excited about. I'm going to I'm going to post that real soon. So anyways, get out there. Have fun. Don't let anybody tell you, um, you know, that you're doing it wrong. Just experiment. Have fun. But if you're looking for a cheap way to use your airbrush for clear coats and get amazing results. Seriously, automotive art, by the pint. Um, it's dirt cheap. So, until next time, I'm Steve. And this is Hooligan Scale Models. So have a nice whiskey. <laughs> I already have. And we'll see you next time. Bye.